The saving grace for PSA is the incompetence of other grading companies. What's going on, Brews? So I recently was on Polka Investing on Reddit, and I saw a post by Wonka's Golden Ticket, which, by the way, don't be a douchebag in life. Giggity. Great bio. So if you're new to the Pokemon hobby, this could be your first ever PSA schmear video or grading schmear video. But if you've been in this hobby for three months, six months, any extended period of time whatsoever, you have probably seen quite a few grading gone wrong videos. Whether it be about PSA, CGC, BGS, SGC, or all the other even tinier fish out there. But the saving grace for PSA is the incompetence of other grading companies. That is one of the most absolute perfect to a T descriptions I have ever heard of someone referring to professional sports authenticator. So first of all, that was just a, a random sentence out of an article I read from a few months ago while I was doing research for this video. But Wonka's golden ticket makes a post just a couple of days ago. And this, this, oh God, I feel bad for this Charizard. I don't know if PSA just absolutely hates Charizards. But um, so this guy, his, his uh, Charizard SAR from Pokemon 151 sends in and right off the bat i get the vibe that this is a guy who knows what he's doing this isn't his first rodeo he's like me he sends uh, grading submissions to psa quite a lot um i'll get into my there's a lot of people that don't watch this channel because i'm a smaller you know i just barely got a thousand subs so if you don't know i started this channel on psa returns literally my first 10 videos are psa return one two three four like yeah so for me to make a video right now where I'm going to bring up Nat Turner, the CEO of PSA, call him out, and PSA themselves call them out, this is a huge 180 from where I started, trust me. But anyway, so Wonka's golden ticket on Reddit, he gets his PSA sub back, it's, it's a, I think it was like a 40 or 50 card sub, where, look guys, shipping, we're not, don't, let's not waste each other's time here, okay? The damage to the card that we're about to talk about has nothing to do with FedEx. It has nothing to do with USPS. This damage is always PSA. It's always a PSA employee. It's always somewhere in the line of getting all those little steps. QA1 and QA2? Hmm. Are those even real? Like, how do you do QA2 and send out a cracked in half slab? You're literally, that's the whole point of QA2 is to make sure the slabs aren't cracked. Bro, come on, PSA. Okay, but the reason I'm making this video is because, one, I think Nat Turner, the CEO, the new CEO as of November 30th, 2020, with, what was it, $700 million, this guy has now been, he's coming up on his fourth year of being the CEO of PSA, okay? He's done an okay job. I think the user interface with, with uh, PSA, I think people are way, 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 it's way easier to grade with PSA now, the app brought PSA into like, you know, the 21st century. The, the app is very user friendly. He's done a very good job of eating away at the, the COVID 2021 backlog. He's made a lot of good decisions, but there's always room for improvement and they don't need to improve because of the incompetence of CGC and Beckett and all these other ones that have their own problems. But I want to live in a world where the company I prefer to grave with is always striving to be the best they can. We are getting to a point, Nat Turner, where a lot of the, the, the stuff that you took over, you know, is behind us now, is behind you. And you need to look for new ways to improve PSA, to improve the transparency, whether it be a little quick one word as to why the card didn't get a 10 when you look up the cert number, you know, just something to give the person who's paying you guys tons of money to hopefully not destroy your cards. Um, just a little more transparency as to why they didn't get a 10. But let's go back to the Charizard SAR. This Charizard, not only did the card itself get absolutely destroyed by PSA, after which got graded post-destroyed into a 5, and then put into a slab, which later also got destroyed. 
the slab, by the way, was in the middle of a bunch of other slabs. Again, has nothing to do with shipping and receiving. This was PSA breaking the slab, sending it out without checking the slabs before sending them. Now, the whole reason I'm making this video and the reason it's, I, I think this video is different and necessary from all the other PSA videos is because of the type of damage. The type of damage to the posterior of that Charizard SAR. The split second I saw Wonka's Golden Tickets Charizard SIR chase from Pokemon 151. When I saw the damage on the back of that card, I immediately recognized that. And I was like, wait, that's the exact damage that PSA did to my Charmander, not Charizard, like six months ago. And I never called him out. I never emailed it. But... But I knew in the back of my mind that that was a perfect charge. <laughs> like, I grade 500 cards last year. I spent 6000 something dollars. I, again, started a YouTube channel on PSA. I trust PSA. I use PSA often. But this one time, I was like, oh, my God. They destroyed my Charmander promo. They did. I know they did, okay? And then ever since then... I, this is now the third time that I have seen that exact posterior weird line damage on the back of the card. So when you look at that Charizard SAR and you look at my Charmander, okay, it's always on the back. And it always looks like someone took like a, a pin, unclicked, and just shoved it in the back card, dragged it real hard, and just destroyed the shit out of it. Okay? That type of damage, that weird gouge line drag... That doesn't happen when you're just pulling cards out of sleeves, taking pictures of them, when you're sending them in a box with, with you know, padding and, and peanuts and, and bubble wrap and all that stuff. That is a very specific mechanical damage that happens somewhere along the line while PSA is grading our cards. So, Nat Turner, not that you're going to see this because I'm a little who gives a crap about me Poketuber, but please, Nat Turner, please, please, find out. Go walk into your walk into your factory and go go watch the cards as they go whatever they're doing. And anything that looks like it could cause that weird type of damage, please figure that shit out. Because you are damaging a large amount of our Pokemon cards. And you are literally the reluctant king of pokemon card grading you are not the king we chose you are not the king we want okay if you want to be the king of the mountain that we love and appreciate you need to quit doing this shit and don't nobody in the comment section be like oh it's one in a million it's one in blah blah i sent 500 cards a grade dam last year and psa damaged two of them so just like that that's one in 250 it ain't no one in a million they are damaging only they know how many cards they are truly damaging, okay? But this this weird line posterior damage gouge shit, knock that shit off. And if you're going to QA tech QA check to the slabs, then QA check to the slabs. Stop sending us cracked slabs where they're literally in the middle of the box surrounded by uncracked slabs, so you're making it super obvious you cracked it in the factory before you packaged it, and then another employee saw that it was cracked or he's blind and put it in the box and sent it off. Look, if volume is an issue, hire more people. There's no excuses. Please, man, Nat Turner, please. I, I appreciate what you've done, but I really, really want to live in a reality where PSA truly is an authentication company an authentic authentication company with far more transparency you do that and cgc and bgs they have no chance and they never will all right let's go it's 2024 you got the time you got the money keep making this shit better all right that's all i got i'm gonna actually come out with a lot more videos over the next few weeks because i have a lot more time on my hands i got my taxes done yeah yeah uh, but yeah by the way, if anyone has any Pokemon card taxes question, I just went through it. I, I just went through like Pokemon card taxes like 101 over the last two weeks. And it, it, it ended very well for me. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Please comment. Please hit the like. I'm a little guy, so a little like goes a long way. Until the next one. Deuces.